Congratulations on the, on the win. Um, what was going through your mind in the moment when your, the opportunity came to score that goal? And obviously it was a frustrating game for you in an offensive sense and then that moment of quality really sort of broke it open. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, I think in those moments you're not really thinking too much. You're just doing them off instinct and trying them out. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, had a few chances in the first half and that one in the second half went in. So, yeah, it was good. Um, Mary, what was the messaging at half time after a fairly resolute Chinese Taipei defence? It was quite frustrating for you guys. What, what did you talk about at half time and, and that brought about the improvement? Um, you know, we keep things positive. I think, you know, we obviously had chances in the first half and it was just about remaining patient um, and going back out there in the second half with the same quality and, and just and knowing that we're going to get that goal. Justin? Oh, hi, Mary. I uh, just wanted to ask you what you thought of just the week in general, that the, the three games you had pretty good performances in, in terms of bonding as a team after the World mm -hmm. Cup. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, you know, I think that first camp after a big tournament can go, you know, either way. Um, either everyone's really tired and performances kind of drop off a bit um, or, you know, you're able to build off that momentum. And I think you can see in, in this camp in three games you're able to build off that and... Everyone was just as motivated as we were in that first game of the World Cup. So it's been a really good camp, I think, for everyone. Um, and it's great to get three good results. Ash. Um, Mary, 900th goal for the Matildas by Sam Kerr. Also, she scored it and then left the field. It was almost like the ultimate mic drop moment for her in front of a home crowd. <laughs> um, did you touch base with her? I mean, it must have been pretty emotional for her. I haven't yet, but no, nah, it's incredible. You know, that girl just attracts goals um, to score in every game. Is, it's, it's amazing. Um, and she just keeps on setting new records. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing for her to be able to play at home and to have such a good crowd to play in front of. Um, yeah, and I think she's just motivating everyone in the team to keep on going because she just keeps on breaking her own records and wanting us to be better. Over here. Hey, do Mary. Uh, just uh, throughout your time in Man City, you sort of like changed position to a new inside forward role. Mm -hmm. And Tony's kind of incorporated that into the Socceroos. How are you enjoying life in that Matildas. new position? I'm Matilda's. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think since the start of the season, I've been playing on the left wing. Um, and I've enjoyed it out there. It's worked quite well um, at club, just being able to uh, attack a lot more in, in that sense. Um, and so being able to try it out here has been nice as well, and it's and it's worked quite quite well. I think a link up with Steph and and, and Kate quite naturally. Um, so yeah, it's been fun, and, and I've been lucky to to get the chance to to do that here as well. Thank you. Final Mary. three questions. Start with them. That was my question. Oh, that was your <laughs> question. And um, we'll go over here. Then we'll go to Joe. Yeah, that was my question as well. But I was going to also ask how how awesome does that feel to have that kind of confidence from the coach that the three of you can have this free role where you can end up at left back sometimes left wing sometimes or in on the 10 position as well yeah I think it's you know it's always helps when you get the backing from the coach and the freedom to be able to do that and just to rotate um you know I think we're all you know us three out there are very um you know free thinking kind of players and ball players um so to be able to move around quite a bit, it's very unpredictable for the other team um, and it just allows us to play our game and, and have fun out there. Joe, Hey, Mary. Sorry if you've already answered this since you've been back, but um, what happened to the gloves? Oh, um, you know, it's, it's not cold enough for the gloves. <laughs> I just I use a hair tie around my hand now. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, not looking for attention by wearing gloves when it's sunny. You'll need them when you get back to England, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>